Good morning. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, 2017. Here's the Golden Heart announcement of the day. Aaron in Miss Cook's class showed his golden heart when he picked up the trash without being asked. Thank you, Aaron, for your golden heart. Please quietly stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to you. Colette Valentino and Dylan Pineda Barrios. Colette and Dylan unpack their backpacks independently. They remember classroom rules and help others to remember them. Dylan and Colette are responsible by putting on their coats and taking them off. Thank you, Dylan and Colette. <laughs> Layla Affleck. Layla can always be found cleaning up scrap paper from the floor after guided math centers. She does a wonderful job keeping her cubby and the items on her hook neat and organized. Layla can always be depended on to follow the rules on the carpet and in line. Thank you, Layla. Thank you. <laughs> Natalia Zakowski. Natalia is always on time for school. She is prepared for school with her folder every day. Natalia finishes her classwork on time. Thank you, Natalia. <laughs> Dutch Patel. Dutch always listens to and follows directions. He takes care of his things and always returns materials to their home. Dutch is quiet in the hallway so his friends can learn. Thank you, Dutch. Oliver Cleland, Evelise Mora, and Kylie Renu. Oliver, Evelise, and Kylie are responsible when they work hard in class. They are focused on their learning and they always give their very best effort. Evelise, Kylie, and Oliver take responsibility for class supplies. They use things carefully and without wasting. They remember to put things back where they belong. Kylie, Oliver, and Evelise return their homework, signed tests, and library books. They know that this is part of their job as students. Thank you, Kylie, Evelise, and Oliver. <laughs> Yusra Malik and Janelle Crosby. Yusra and Janelle always arrive on time to school and with their belongings. They are ready to learn. Janelle and Yusra are responsible. Whenever they borrow something, they take care of it and return it the way they got it. Yusra and Janelle always make good choices in our classroom and on the playground. 
Thank you, Janelle and Yusra. Patrick Ruskowski. Patrick always follows class and school rules. He even helps his friends remember the rules if they forget. Patrick is kind and caring, which helps him to be a responsible role model. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Timmy McCarsky and Deanna Sack. Timmy and Deanna do not rush through their work. They very carefully check and make sure that they completed their work the very best that they can. Deanna and Timmy follow classroom rules. They are good listeners and they keep their desks organized. Thank you, Deanna and Timmy. <laughs> Alexandra Trasco, Brianna Santos, and Nozer Pachara. Alexandra, Brianna, and Nozer set a good example for their classmates by listening, focusing, and working hard. Alexandra keeps her things in order and saves time by being organized. Brianna thinks carefully about her projects and assignments and then gets right to work. Nozer takes on the responsibility of overseeing the laptop cart, making sure the laptops are properly cared for. Thank you, Alexandra, Brianna, and Nozer. Brian Gonzalez. Brian is a responsible student in class. He is reliable and dependable. He shows responsibility by bringing his folder to school every day. Brian takes responsibility for his actions. He thinks before he acts. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Brielle Jimenez. Brielle is responsible when she brings her work and important papers to school on time every day. She completes her schoolwork always on time. Brielle helps to take care of the classroom. She is always willing to help clean up even when she didn't make the mess. She takes her classroom jobs very seriously. Brielle tries very hard to follow all of our class and school rules. She encourages others to make good choices too. Thank you, Brielle. Nikki Vankevich. Nikki comes to school on time each day. He completes his homework and remembers to turn it in. Nikki comes prepared to learn each day. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> Olivia Jaskowska and Zoe Snellings. Olivia does her homework, returns her library books on time, and takes care of her belongings. If she finds something that belongs to someone else, she makes sure to give it back. Zoe takes care of herself, keeps her desk organized, and turns her homework in on time. Zoe does her classroom job without being reminded. She is a great example of responsibility to others. Thank you, Zoe and Olivia. Tyler Gantz and Olivia DeLiva. Tyler and Olivia always do their best without any, with any classroom job they may have. They participate in all activities and follow all the rules. Olivia and Tyler can always be counted on to do their best because they take pride in their work. Thank you, Olivia and Tyler. Today I would like to recognize one of our staff members as someone who is very responsible. Can Mrs. Spearman please come forward? <laughs> Mrs. Spearman has worked at Slackwood School for 15 years. She comes to school on time every day. She brings work home with her to do after school and on the weekends. She works hard to help her students do their best and learn a lot. At one time in her life, Mrs. Beerman ran her own business. 
She was in the ceramics mold business, and they sold molds for hobby ceramics. She would make a sample and even paint it herself to let her customers see what they could make in the molds. She worked in the office and was in charge of the company's advertising. She worked in that company for 20 years. In addition to her work at Slackwood, Mrs. Bierman and her daughter own a horse farm. They take care of about 22 horses. That's almost like a whole classroom full of horses. They also run a summer camp where children learn about caring for horses and riding them. Mrs. Spearman is a great mom to her daughter. She did all the things that she could do to help her daughter become a caring young woman. Mrs. Spearman cares about Slackwood School and her students. She is very happy to be part of the Slackwood family. We're glad that you're here and are part of our family too. Congratulations, Mrs. Spearman. Please help me sing. You can count on me. I'm responsible.
to be nice to your friends in the hallways and at lunch, okay? And on the bus, okay? I'm, I know as the weather gets warmer, we get a little crazier and wilder, okay? But we still have to control ourselves, all right? Let's have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, okay? Pre-K kindergarten will be first to be the